Welcome friend to the Air Gun Enthusiast Chat. The Benjamin Marauder is a great new air pistol from Crossman, and what makes it so great is its adaptability. Whether you're wanting more power for hunting or simply want to get a few more shots between fills for target practice and plinking, the Marauder can be custom tuned to suit the shooter's application. So grab a seat and let's get started tuning your Marauder pistol. There are many things that we must consider when tuning a pre-charged pneumatic air gun. Some tuning considerations are fill pressure range, pellet caliber, pellet weight, pellet speed, and the knockdown energy required for the application. The recommended fill pressure range for the Marauder is between 1000 PSI and 3000 PSI. For safety's sake, never exceed the manufacturer's maximum fill pressure rating. The Marauder is chambered for a 22 caliber lead pellet, and its 8 round magazine readily accepts pellets of various weights and styles. The Crossman 14.3 grain domed pellet has proven to be very accurate in this pistol. Consistent shot strings can be achieved between the ranges of 550 feet per second and 700 feet per second. Six foot-pounds of energy is sufficient for target shooting or plinking, but if you wish to hunt small game, 12 foot-pounds of energy or greater may be required. Now that we've reviewed general information about the Marauder, let's grab our tools and make a few adjustments. The tools needed are a 3 16 cent check ski to adjust the hammer spring tension, a 1 8 inch hex key to adjust the hammer throw length, and a chronograph to measure pellet velocity. Before you begin, it's a good idea to keep track of the rotations and changes that you're making to the factory settings. That way you can easily return your pistol to the original factory settings should the need arise. Make sure that your Marauder safety is on before making these adjustments, since the bolt must be cocked before adjusting the hammer spring tension or the hammer throw length. The first adjustment that we'll make is to the Marauder's hammer spring tension. Increasing the hammer spring tension causes the hammer to strike the valve stem with more force, therefore releasing more air. Decreasing the hammer spring tension releases less air. At high fill pressures, too little hammer spring tension may not allow the valve to open at all. The Marauder's hammer spring tension is adjusted through the port at the rear of the air tube. To begin the adjustment, insert the 3 16 inch hex wrench into the port, then rotate the wrench fully counterclockwise until you can turn it no further. In this position, the tension on the hammer spring is at its lowest point. Make a mental note of the hex wrench's handle position. This will help you keep track of the number of rotations you're making as you proceed with the tune. To increase the Marauder's hammer spring tension, rotate the wrench in a clockwise direction. Each clockwise rotation increases the spring tension up to a maximum of seven rotations. Now let's adjust the hammer throw length. As you're tuning your Marauder, please keep in mind that increasing the hammer throw length causes the valve to stay open for a longer period of time, therefore releasing more air. Decreasing the hammer throw length releases less air. If the hammer throw length is set too low, the valve might not open at all. Adjusting the Marauder's hammer throw length is very similar to adjusting the hammer spring tension. We start by inserting a 1 8 inch hex wrench into the port at the rear of the air tube. Then we turn the handle counterclockwise until we can turn it no further. As before, make a mental note of the wrench handle's position as this will help you keep track of the rotations as you proceed with your tune. Unlike the hammer spring tension, the hammer throw length is at its highest setting in this full counterclockwise position. 12 rotations of hammer throw length adjustment are available to the tuner. From the full counterclockwise position, each clockwise rotation decreases the hammer throw length. Adjusting the hammer throw length beyond 12 rotations has no beneficial effect on performance but does not harm the pistol. To decrease the hammer throw length, rotate the wrench handle in a clockwise direction. And remember to count your rotations. 
Now let's put it all together. Now that you've finished your hammer spring tension and hammer throw length adjustments, insert a pellet into the marauder and fire it over the chronograph to see if your target velocity has been achieved. Fire additional pellets over the chronograph as needed, recording your results to verify consistency. Then make further adjustments if required. The sequences of pellet velocities that you've recorded in your notebook are called a shot string. You can use these shot strings to calculate the foot-pounds of energy that your marauder is outputting. The FPE, or foot-pounds of energy, is calculated as pellet weight in grains times the velocity squared, expressed in feet per second, divided by 450240. Graphing your shot strings will help you determine which hammer spring tension adjustments and hammer throw length adjustments work best with your pistol. This applies whether you're looking to increase power or just looking to increase the number of shots between fills. The following graphs can be used as a general guideline when setting up your Marauder. But your results may vary depending upon equipment and conditions. The turns indicated are from the full counterclockwise position. One turn spring, one turn throw. Two turn spring, one turn throw. Three turn spring, one turn throw. Four turn spring, one turn throw. Five turn spring, one turn throw. Six turn spring, one turn throw. Seven turn spring, one turn throw. This concludes this episode on tuning your Benjamin Marauder. Until next time, stay safe and always keep your eye on the target.